on this day, 31 years ago, we entered our rights of passage to becoming a true and enduring democratic society. Going through this passage was hard and dangerous. During the fateful six years that followed, we fought and struggled for our natural rights as human beings put on this earth by the divine hand of our Creator. We lost great heroes and heroines along the way. And this struggle, the winner of June 12, 1993 presidential election, Chief MKO Abiola, the most significant symbol of our democratic struggle, his wife, Kudrat, General Sheo Musa Yadua, and Pa Alfred Iwani, amongst others, sacrificed their very lives. They briefly surrendered their fortunes so that our nation might have a better one. Let us honor the memories of Chief Anthony Enahol, Chief Abram Adesaya, Commodore Dan Suleiman, Chief Athon Wanko, Chief Chekwemeka Ezebe, Admiral Ndubusi Kanu, Chief Frank Kokori, Chief Bola Ige, Chief Adekunle Ajasi, Chief Gani Udaudi, Chief Ayo Fasami, Chief Gani Fawemi, Chief Olabi Idrojaye, Dr. Beko Ransom Kuti, Chima Ubani, and others who have transited to higher realm. The sacrifices of General Alani Akinyade, Professor Bolaji Akinyemi, Professor Wole Suinga, Chief Rav Obioha, Chief Colonius Adebayo, among many others, should never be forgotten. For at least six years, they bore the pain and difficulties of life in exile. While the exiled pro-democracy activists kept the fire burning, their comrades at home sustained the pressure on military leadership. Among the latter are Olisa Agbakoba, Femi Falana, Abdul Oro, Senator Shew Sonny, Governor Ubasoni, Chivolu Falai, and other National Democratic Coalition leaders, such as Chief Ayo Adebanjo and Chief Ayo Padokun. The sacrifices they made and the precious gift brought about by their selfless devotion can never be repaid nor forgotten.